for millennia, I tell you. Humans have looked up to the stars and wondered, hey, what, what the heck's going on up there? And that spirit certainly has not gone away. Joining me live to talk about his new book on exploring the mysteries of space to infinity and beyond is Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. I don't mean to be fanboying, sir, but I'm so excited to talk to you today. You, you don't know this, but we spend a lot of time together. I listen to the podcast and your clips come up on my TikTok and Instagram reels a lot. So welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Thank, thank you for having me and, and for your interest. And, and I think we should all be as interested as you are. It's, well, it's it's, it's uh, the universe is a fundamental part of I think human curiosity, and that's what the book we attempt to to explore in the book. There was a day when you stand here and you look up and say, not only what is that up there, but can I get there? I mean, think about that. How would you get to the moon if you didn't have the known laws of physics or rockets or rocket fuel? You just can only dream. And they had the first aeronauts people who would ascend in the atmosphere, well, maybe you could ascend all the way to the moon that way. And the first aeronaut was a sheep, a duck, and a rooster, <laughs> just so you know. People were not going to put their own lives at risk We've at the time. But this quest has continued the entire time. And now we look up, we, how do you get to the stars? Our best rockets, it would take 50,000 years. So now we're looking at the stars the way the ancients or any, even as recent as a few hundred years ago, we're looking at the moon. So I'm, I'm proud to be a part of a species who is never feels comfortable being contained, that they always want to go where they're previously not allowed. That, I think in the end, that's a good thing. And see, what, what you just did there is the reason why I'm so fascinated, not only about the things that you're fascinated by, but I'm fascinated by you because you, you take things that in their in their scientific form, in their all the big words and all of the science can be very, very difficult for the lay person to really grasp. And you, you, you make it digestible. And that's really what a lot of this book is about, right? Yeah, that's part of the DNA of the podcast, because this is the third book in collaboration with National Geographic. By the way, it's a beautiful book. I'd say that even if I didn't write it, because that's, <laughs> that's how National Geographic rolls with their books. But the, the, the three strands are science, pop culture, and humor. And in the podcast, we honed that recipe. And by doing so, we learned that if you deliver science that way, people come back for more. Yeah. So that is now the threads that go through this book. And we talk about pop culture movies, where if there's a movie that tried to do what we're talking about, I'll call it out. If they got it right, <laughs> I'll say so. If they got it wrong, you know I'm all up in their face. <laughs> and you can, what's interesting to me too, is you can still enjoy a movie but at the end, you're still going to go, you really probably couldn't do that with a lightsaber. You know what I mean? That's probably, you, <laughs> so, you, you know, you're not doing that in 12 <laughs> parsecs or whatever whatever else, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that one. Yes. Right, that was Han Solo. So, so yeah, it's, it's like, for example, in the Hulk, we, we talk about density of things in the universe. And there's the Hulk starting out as David Banner, and then he just gets big, all right? <laughs> well, yeah. if he doesn't accumulate mass then he'd be like a big beach ball, right? Because he'll just fill up with nothing. I'm not right? afraid of a beach and ball. Just blow him into the breeze. <laughs> so, so, but clearly he has extra mass. So where did he get the mass from? He'd have to get it from the energy, E equals MC squared, all around him. He'd suck all the energy out from the entire county and there'd be nothing left to fight. But the biggest question is, how come his pants still fit? That's what I want to know. <laughs> because it, they, they couldn't make it PG-13 if they didn't. Let, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me ask you let me ask you this question. You know whether it's the James Webb Telescope or, or other things that are seemingly we're talking about here in the newscast every day. Are there new discoveries at this point that still shock you, that still surprise you, that still make you go, "Wow, I didn't see that coming." Yeah. So half the discoveries are consistent with what we expect, and the other half is like, "Wait, who ordered that?" <laughs> and recently, in recent months, the James Webb Space Telescope discovered galaxies perfectly happy living in a place in the early universe where we had no understanding of how you can have a fully formed galaxy that early. So we were scratching our heads trying to figure that one out. And so, but that's discovery. The press reports it like we're upset or something. No, <laughs> when we find something we don't expect, we are excited and we are rushed towards it. And we get our brightest minds and brightest technologists to try to solve it. 
thank you so much for spending time with us today. Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson to infinity and beyond. Delighted. And uh, go pick up. <laughs> you get the book just about anywhere. It's a beautiful book. It's a smart book. It's a digestible book. It's all those things. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. Keep doing what you do. You got it. Thanks. You can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe and then you can get all the notifications.